Hi, my name is Charles Pearson. I am the co-founder and CEO of Account Tests, and the purpose of this video is to help you interpret the QuickBooks online test for beginners. So this test is based on questions that were provided to us by RoyalWise, so you can check them out at royalwise.com. They are specialist uh, QuickBooks trainers, and what we've done is utilize the questions that they've got to develop the same uh, test that they use, but to have it online uh, so it's easy to administer for uh, remote, uh, particularly if you're looking to hire uh, somebody and you're looking to assess their QuickBooks knowledge. So here's the test report that you've now got. Uh, you can look in the top right hand side, you see the order number. You'll need that if you're looking up these tests in our portal. And then at the bottom of the first page, you can see the time taken. So the test's timed for 40 minutes. And if that time says 40, then the candidate was still working on the test when their time ran out. Otherwise, you get to see how long they spent. If you go down to the next page, that's mostly background. Uh, but you can see here a link through uh, to our website to talk about the proctoring. So the test that your candidate took was proctored. That means the camera was on and you can get to see uh, what the uh, outcome of that camera monitoring was by looking at the proctoring report. And if you follow the link here through to our website, you can learn more about the proctoring and how to access that report and see some interpretation videos on the proctoring as well. If we go through to the next page, you can see the overall score. So all these questions are at beginner level. Uh, there are multiple sets of questions, so your candidate got to see a random selection of uh, 10 questions from each section, and you get to see the overall result here. So you can see our candidate got uh, 34 out of 40, and then you can see how they did on the different sections. So each of these sections has, has 10 questions, uh, of which there are, is an item bank of questions of which they get to to uh, have a go at 10. So you can see there the different sections. And then on the last page, a question by question uh, report. So this takes you through uh, what was the question about, which section was it in, and did they get it right or wrong? And you'll see a uh, at the top of this page, a gray circle. So if you see any omitted questions, as you're looking at the report, what that means is the, the candidate didn't answer the question. So they've either skipped it uh, or they have not got to all of the questions within the 40 minutes. So particularly if you see that the uh, candidate has timed out on the test, you'll likely see omitted questions. And generally we tend to, to find that when candidates have omitted questions, they've not done that well because they're struggling with the material. Uh, in terms of the way that omitted questions are dealt with for those overall scores that we looked at, they're counted as incorrect. So this analysis takes you through here, and then on the last page, we have some uh, information around interpretation, which is pretty much what we've just done here. So if you have any questions about the test report that you're looking at, you're welcome to contact us, help at accounttests.com. Otherwise, thanks for watching this video.